Hey, what's up guys? Josh here and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Okay, so today, um, well actually, in my last Quick Tip, if you paid attention, I said that I was going to do a tip on each and every single one of these effectors in this tab. Okay, so today we're going to do the um, random effector. This one is a very useful effector and you can be very creative with it. So I'm going to show you how to use it on both text and both objects. Okay, so first you're just going to do mo text and then just leave it or change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, all you have to do is just do uh, select your mo text and then go to mo graph effector and then the random effector. And now you can see it's already doing some stuff. So what you're going to do is uncheck position, check rotation, and then um, at zero frames, put 300, 300, 300. This is all up to your preference. This is just what I'm doing for the tutorial. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is make sure it's at zero frames. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have a cold. Um, and then hold control, and then left click each of these little dots right here. So then it's already keyframed and everything. So we're going to go to, let's say, 80, uh, we'll just go to the end, 90 frames. And then we're going to put these back to zero. And then we're just going to do the same thing, control and left click these. And then that should be fine. So you just go back to the beginning and then press play. Sorry for it being a little laggy. And then that's it. Okay, so that's how you do it with text. Now just delete both of these. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with objects. Objects is a little bit trickier. So we'll, we'll take the pyramid. Okay, so we'll scale it down a bit. Say there. And then you're going to go to your cloner and then drag pyramid. Make sure over the cloner, make sure it's the arrow pointing down. <clears throat> and now you can see that it's already making something. So what we're going to do is go to radial just for some extra effects. And then go to X under plane right here. Go to X Z like that. And now we'll change the count to eight in the radius. Make it nice and large around 200 okay so this is all you have to do for this so just select your cloner do the same thing uh, MoGraph effector then go to random now it's already doing some stuff just do the same exact thing just rotation and then just put it to 300 300 300 make sure it's at zero frames and then just do control left click left click left click okay so this time we'll just go to 45 frames and then do zero, 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 and then do the same thing, control, left click, left click, left click. Okay, so it's back to normal, and now this is what it should look like. <laughs> so guys, you can do a lot of stuff with this, it's all up to your preference, you can be very creative with this. Um, I don't know guys, you, it's just a quick tip that's pretty useful, um, just have fun with it, and please guys, subscribe if you want more. Um, please leave a comment. It you know it really keeps me going. Just tell me what you want to do, uh, want want me to do, what you want to learn, and everything. So, just thumbs this video up and uh, have a nice day.